Hi everyone, it's Jillian and welcome to my channel and another crochet tutorial. For today's tutorial, we're working on these kitty cat motifs. Uh, I think this is something that can be used for a coaster or whatever it is that you want to embellish. I made this with 100% acrylic yarn, but if it's made with cotton yarn, it can definitely be used as a coaster or something like that. Let's get started. For round one, you're going to start with a magic ring and if you want to make the nose and the mouth, the pink color. When you make your magic ring, you're gonna to wanna to leave a bit of a tail. So make a magic ring. Chain three. And that chain three is gonna count as your first double crochet. Inside the ring, make two double crochets. Chain one, and you're gonna add a new color. You're gonna add the white color. And you're gonna pull that through. And by pulling that through, that counts as your as your, your second chain. You're now gonna continue and you're gonna make three double crochets inside the ring. Chain two, make three double crochets inside the ring. Chain two, make three more double crochets inside the ring. And at the end of the round, you're gonna chain two and you're gonna to join to the top of the chain three with a slip stitch. You can go ahead and pull your ring closed, which is the pink color. And that is the end of round one. You can also go ahead and cut the end of the pink color or whatever color you're using for the nose because you're not gonna need that anymore. Just like I did here and I just have this long tail left that I'm going to use to make the mouth. For round two you're going to chain three and you're going to work into the next space, the next chain two space and you're going to make a corner stitch of three double crochets, chain two and three double crochets. Chain two and three double crochets. And you're going to repeat into the next chain two space. You're going to make another corner of three double crochets, chain two, and three double crochets. Chain two, and three double crochets. And you're going to repeat into the next chain two space. Chain two and three more double crochets inside the space. Into the last chain two space, you're going to make three double crochets. Chain two, and then you're going to make two double crochets. And you're going to join with a slip stitch to the top of the chain three. One, two, and three. And that completes round two. For round three, you're going to chain three. And walking into this space, you're gonna make two double crochets. And you're gonna chain one and you're gonna fasten off here 
and you're not going to be working with this white color anymore and at this point you can um, start sewing the mouth or you can wait until the end whichever way you choose it doesn't matter So to make the mouth, we're just going to go with the tail end of the yarn and you're going to go into the space right here. And then you're going to go into the center. And then you're going to go into the next space here. And back into the center. And then you're going to sew in your ends into the back. And I, I like to go back and forth. And then you're going to go ahead and weave in this end also. For round four, you're going to be joining with a slip stitch into this corner right here. You're going to chain three. You're now going to be working into the next space and you're going to make a cluster of three double crochets. Into the chain two space, you're going to make your corner stitch of three double crochets, chain two, and three double crochets. Chain two and three double crochets. You're gonna make a slip stitch into the top of the chain three. You're gonna slip stitch into the next two stitches. And you're also going to slip stitch into the side almost like the side of the stitch of the last double crochet stitch. You're now going to work into the next chain two space and you're going to make your corner stitch of three double crochets, chain two and three double crochets. Into the next space, you're going to make a cluster of three double crochets. Into the next chain two space, you're going to make one double crochet. And that is the end of round four. For round five, you're going to chain three. And you're going to turn your work and you're going to work into the first space and you're going to make a cluster of three double crochets. Into the chain two space you're going to make your corner stitch of three double crochets, chain two and three double crochets. chain two and make three double crochets you 
You know, we're going to be working into the next space, which is right here. And you're going to make a cluster of three double crochets. Into the next space, you're going to make a cluster of three double crochets. Work it into the chain two, you're going to make that corner stitch of three double crochets, chain two, and three double crochets. And three more double crochets into the same space. Working into the next space, you're going to make a cluster of three double crochets. Into the last space on the end, you're going to make one double crochet. And you're going to chain one and you're going to fasten off here. And that is the end of round five and you can see that the kitty cat is starting to take shape and the only thing left to do is to make the ears. For the last round we're going to be making the ears for the kitty cat and we're going to be joining into the chain two space on the right hand side. You're going to join with a slip stitch You're going to chain two, and that chain two is going to count as a double crochet stitch. And you know, I'm going to make a double crochet, two, two stitches together, and along with this chain two, it's going to be a double crochet, three stitches together. You're going to wrap your hook, and you're going to go in, and you're going to pull up a loop. With three loops on your hook, you're going to pull two off. You have two left. You're going to wrap your hook, go into the stitch, pull up a loop. You have four loops here on your hook. You're going to pull two loops off. And you now have three loops left, you're going to wrap your hook and pull through all three loops. You're going to be working into the space, into the next space here. And into that space, you're going to double crochet three stitches together. So here you're starting with one loop already on your hook. So you're going to wrap your hook and you're going to go into the space, pull up a loop. You're going to pull two loops off, you have two left. Wrap your hook, go into the space, pull up a loop. You're going to pull two loops off, you now have three loops on your hook. Wrap your hook, go into the space, pull up a loop, you're going to pull two loops off. You now have four loops on your hook, you're going to wrap your hook and pull through all four loops. You're going to chain two, and you're going to turn. You're going to be working into that space, and you're going to be, now you're going to be double crocheting five stitches together. So first, you're going to wrap your hook, go into the space, one, two, three, four, and you're going to make your fifth stitch into that space right there. So you're going to wrap your hook and go into that space and pull up a loop. And you're going to pull two loops off. You should now have a total of six loops on your hook. One, two, three, four, five, six. You're going to wrap your hook and pull through all six loops. And then you're going to make a chain one and you're going to fasten off. And you're going to repeat the same thing for the next ear. So we're going to join with a slip stitch. chain two and you're now going to double crochet two stitches together one two we have three loops on a hook you're going to pull through all three loops now we're going to be working into the space here and you're going to double crochet three stitches together just like we did previously one two, 
and three pull all four loops of your hook you're now going to chain two and you're going to turn your work and you're going to double crochet five stitches together one two three four and you're going to make that fifth stitch into the side here wrap your hook and you're going to go into that space pull up a loop pull two loops off and you should have six loops on your hook and you're going to wrap your hook and pull through all six loops and then you're going to make a chain one and you're going to fasten off And the only thing left to do is go ahead and sew in your ends. So this is the front of the pattern, as you can see, like we made the chain three and this is the back. I'm just gonna show you um, the way that I sew in my ears here. I just go over that way. And I just try to work my way down the stitch without coming to the other side. And you're just going to go ahead and repeat the same for the next side and we'll meet back here. And this is the finished product and you can use this as a coaster or for whatever your, your heart's desire. And that is the end of the tutorial guys. If you enjoy this pattern, please share it, like it, leave a comment. And as always, thank you so much for visiting my channel and I'll see you in the next video.